welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Today I'm going to talk about another one of my favorite fragrance houses and that is the house of Terry Mugler or Mugler it's simply called now and I love this house. They are so interesting and unique. I know others have said that they are a designer house that smells very niche. They've got several pillar fragrances that you've probably heard of. Angel, Alien, and Aura is, is one of the newer ones. And then they have loads of flankers of those um, pillar fragrances. And so I just really love this house. And um, I have lots of samples that I won't, won't get into, um, but I just I love their unique spin on some of these notes. And so they're one of my favorites. I'm gonna talk about um, some of the ones that I have today. Um, actually, all the ones that I have, at least a travel spray or bigger. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right in and start out with Angel. This is the Eau de Toilette from 2011. And it is a beautiful, um, this to me is very similar to the Eau de Parfum. So this has bergamot, pink pepper, praline, red fruits, patchouli, cedar wood, vanilla, and white musk. And this EDT to me smells a lot like the, um, the EDP, as I said. So um, it's got a slightly different bottle than the EDP. This has got kind of the swirly pattern, and then this is the, the star that you would see a big bottle of, like more like this one for the Eau de Parfum, the original Angel. And then there are lots and lots of flankers. So this has this very beautiful gourmand, warm, inviting, rich um, vanilla, chocolate, praline, uh, very wintry, very cold weather appropriate. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent that is very popular and I do smell it when I'm out and about sometimes. So that's Angel, it's very distinctive. I think it's it came out in 1999, so it's definitely not new, but that is the Angel EDT from 2011. The next one I have is the Angel EDT from 2019. So this is very new and I've talked about this quite a lot, so I won't spend a lot of time, but it's got mandarin, peony, pralines, red fruits, apple essence, patchouli, blonde woods, and cedar. And this is a gorgeous, fruity, fun, playful, um, somewhat youthful, and um, I think this is great year round. This is just a beautiful, this is one of my top, top favorites. I love this um, 2019 version of the Angel Eau de Toilette. So that's that one. And then I have Aura, which I have not talked about on my channel here. So this is Aura in this gorgeous like emerald green bottle. And it's an, a very unique rhubarb. Um, you get some mint, even though I don't know that mint is an official note. I don't think it is. It's got rhubarb leaf, tiger liana, orange blossom, bourbon vanilla, and wolfwood notes. So this is a very unique one. This came out a few years ago, like maybe three or four years ago, and they've issued a few flankers since then. But it's um, it's just got this, I'm surprised it doesn't have jasmine because I always kind of get a jasmine thing and it's a little bit medicinal. And I, I actually mean that in a good way. I mean, it, it's not in a bad way, but there's something minty, maybe toothpaste-y, um, <laughs> but again, I don't I don't know how they do that well, but it, it works and I really do like Aura. So that's Aura, um, beautiful bottle, um, beautiful fragrance, I think. It's a little divisive, um, people kind of either love it or hate it, so I kind of love it, so that's that one. And then I have the Angel Sun Essence Legere. So this is kind of Angel um, with a, a slightly more summery vibe. This has bergamot, hibiscus, honey, blackberry, red berries, caramel, chocolate, patchouli, vanilla, hedion, helional, and coumarin. And so this is a very fun, bright, um, but still staying true to the angel DNA with just kind of a summery slant, but it's still kind of gourmandy and, and maybe a little bit heavy for summer. And I, I really think this would be fine year round, but this is a actually discontinued unfortunately I just kind of lucked out and I think I found it on Mercari so um beautiful looking forward to wearing it more um that's the angel sun essence legere and then I'm going to move into the one alien that I have and this is alien flora futura so alien is another one of those um polarizing kind of love it or hate it perfumes and it's 
I, I think it's like a jasmine bomb. It's like a jasmine explosion. I think it's really fun and beautiful. So this version of Alien, uh, it's so pretty. Uh, floral woody composition, um, <coughs> excuse me. This is from Fragrantica. So top notes named Crackling Revelation feature hand of Buddha Accord, little tree that gives fresh, crispy and sparkling notes. Flower rev Revelation is in the heart where Queen of the Night replaces Jasmine as a unique flower that blossoms out of a cactus at night. The base represents creamy revelation with white, amber and sandalwood. So um, I have a lot of different samples of different flankers, but Alien is very popular. It's been around for quite a while and it's got these interesting bottles. Um, the original, oh yeah, there's the actual correct side that says Alien. Um, the original is more of a deep purple and it's beautiful. So this is um, the Flora Futura version and I, I do love this and I really love, especially wearing it when it's a little bit warmer out than currently. Um, next one I have just a travel spray because I got a little mini and then I decanted it into this. It's called Wom Womanity. It's like woman with ITY at the end. And so this is um, probably one of the one of the lesser popular ones. And it's very unique. It's got fig, caviar, fig tree, and fig leaf. <laughs> Those are the only notes that I could find on Fragrantica. So it's very unique. I, I'm not sure why anyone would want to wear caviar <laughs> as a note, but it kind of works. It's interesting. I, I probably wouldn't buy a bigger one because I don't love it, but it's interesting. And actually the bottle's gorgeous. I'm sure I'll put a picture of the bottle up here. It's interesting and and I'm sure some people love it. It's just not hugely um, known or hugely popular, but they still make it and they still sell it on um, FragranceNet, I believe. And then I have one that I really adore, and this is a very popular one. It's called Angel Muse. I just have a small bottle, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to get a bigger bottle because it's, it's a beauty. It's got grapefruit, pink pepper, Nutella, vetiver, and patchouli. And it's this very rich gourmand, um, sweet, edible, yummy, and very uh, cold weather appropriate. And it's it's a stunner, I think. And it's very popular, I think, for a very good reason. And so that's Angel Muse. And the last one I have is, this is actually my husband's. This is called Amen or Angel for Men. It's like Angel Star Men. And I really like this. This is the men's version of Angel, of course. It's got kind of this funky bottle. And it's oh, it's beautiful. Oh, actually, in some ways, I like this better than the original Angel. Woodsy notes of patchouli and atlas cedar develop after the metal accord of mint and lavender. At the end, the intensive woodsy co composition turns into an explosive energy of coffee and styrax in the warm musk and tonka surrounding. So it's... It's just, um, it's masterful. Um, I think my favorites of all of these that I'm talking about today are this one, Amen, Angel Muse, and the Angel EDT from last year. So, um, oh, so anyway, I love Mugler, and um, you can find them in most places that sell designer fragrances, fragrance net. Um, department stores, um, Ulta, but I'm not sure about Sephora. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being with me today. And please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to give it a thumbs down if you did not like it. I would also ha love to have you subscribe and um, catch more of my videos. And thanks again, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.